Hey everyone, Evander Quisling here, and today I'm going to show you the most efficient and useful method of ribbon farming in Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age for the PS4. If you aren't aware, the ribbon is more or less the best accessory in the game. It provides immunity from every negative status effect, whether it's slow, stop, sap, sleep, silence, petrify, poison, confuse, doom, disease, disable, oil, immobilize, or blind and it also equips Libra and Regen to provide enemy information and constant health regeneration. Currently, there are two popular ribbon farming methods that I was able to find on YouTube in the wikis. One method involves spawning the level 99 red chocobo on Osmon Plain, which has a 100% chance to drop a ribbon, but only a 1 out of 256 chance to spawn. Um, this method is not ideal for two reasons. Um, first being that uh, it requires you to progress past Giravagan in the game's story, which is very near the end of the game, so you will not be able to get much utility out of the ribbons that you do farm. And it also has no 100% RNG method from a cold start. Um, this means that you would have to spend hours going back and forth trying to spawn the level 99 red chocobo, or you would have to figure out how to manipulate RNG using third-party software, which uh, isn't ideal. The second method involves farming ribbons by stealing from Hoshmal in the game's trial mode using an autosave. This method is feasible right from the beginning of the game, however, there is only a 6% chance to steal the ribbon from Hoshmal with the Thieves' Cuffs, meaning that, again, you could spend several hours upon hours just to get one ribbon. The method I've discovered piggybacks off of this method in order to ensure a 100% chance of success of stealing the ribbon through RNG manipulation. This method also works from the very beginning of the game onward. Um, I want to give a big shout out to the developers of the RNG Helper app for making the discovery of this trick possible. Um, and a link to their app is in the description if you are one of those people that uh, likes to discover tricks like this um, on your own. So without further ado, let's get into the method. For starters, if you haven't already done so, you'll need to make a save file with Rex at Nalbana Fortress at the beginning of the game. Using Cure Spells with Rex um, from a reset is how we are going to manipulate the game's RNG later on, so this step would need to be the first thing to do if you have not already done it. Next, you'll need to progress through Trial Mode to Stage 48. This is the stage with the tower in it. Immediately upon beginning this stage, turn all of your character's gambits off, and make sure you do not move too far away from the spot you start in, as getting too close to the tower will make several zombie warlocks spawn, which is not ideal. In this spot, you are out of the tower's offensive range, so you can use this tiny respite to cure your party members, heal any negative status effects, and you can also damage the tower from here, from afar, by using a ranged weapon or offensive attack, um, such as Sight and Grat, or by using offensive magic spells. Once you have towered down to critical HP, adjust your party down to one character who is capable of using the Steel technique and equip them with the Thieves' Cuffs. If you need help acquiring Thieves' Cuffs, check the description for some helpful videos on that. Before finishing off tower and progressing to stage 49, make sure that your character has no status effects, either negative or positive, and you can clear these status effects by using items, white magics, and or dispel. After defeating Tower, you will progress to stage 49 to fight Hashmal. Once the autosave for this stage is created, close out of the application on your PS4. Again, that is closing out of the application, not exiting to the main menu. This step is essential as it resets the game's RNG counter. Now, um, in comes the RNG manipulation. So you'll start up the game again and start by loading your rec save file. And from here, um, you're just going to keep casting Cure on yourself until you see the values 97, 94, 95, and 93 in that specific order. You will have to touch the save crystal to recharge MP throughout this, but don't worry as this does not affect the RNG counter. Um, the sequence of values may be interrupted by touching the save crystal to recharge MP, but don't worry about that either as the trick will still work um, if the values are separated by touching the save crystal. After curing for 97, 94, 95, and 93, after the final cure, you are going to want to exit to the main menu. Again, that is exit to the main menu, not resetting the game as before. And from here, you'll load 
the autosave for fighting Hashmal from trial mode, not from the load game option on the main menu. Once you load the game, attempt to open the battle menu as soon as possible, and from there immediately cast Steel on Hashmal. After you cast Steel, it is important that you walk straight backwards until you hit the barrier of the playable area, and then walk forward to the right. Um, it is essential that Hashmal, and only Hashmal, hits you once before you steal, and that his accompanying reavers do not hit you or use any other magics or techniques before you steal. This will set up the game's RNG counter specifically to give the ribbon upon the player using the steal technique. After stealing the ribbon from Hashmal, you'll need to progress to stage 50 of trial mode and then quit to the main menu once the autosave is made. This time, load the autosave from the load game option, not the trial mode option. And then if you check your inventory, you will see that the ribbon is there. Um, from here, just save the game and then rinse and repeat for as many ribbons as you want. I've checked, and this trick works with any character, at any level, and regardless of whatever weapon or armor the character has equipped, so long as that weapon or armor does not equip a status. My characters had speed stats anywhere from 28 to 33 when I discovered this trick. Um, if somehow you have a character that is fast enough to steal before Hashmal hits you, which I'm not actually entirely sure is possible, um, just make sure to do the same technique as above, but wait a little bit longer before you cast steal. Um, I hope this trick is useful to all of you who are watching this. I was able to pull this off with an average party level of 31 with the help of Sight and Grat, although I'm sure it could easily be done at a lower level. Um, I do realize this video is coming many years after the release of this game, but I hope this is helpful to whoever sees this, and at any rate, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.